my name is Debbie Hoffman, and I'm a reference librarian here at the Warren Newport Public Library. Walter Isaacson is actually one of my favorite nonfiction writers. He did a great job um, with Stephen Jobs, and now, of course, who does he, of course, go to but Leonardo da Vinci, who was an absolutely fascinating, fascinating character. And I didn't think weighing in at a very hefty um, page turner that this would be a good biography. It was great. Very readable, of course, what Walter Isaacson is anyway. But Leonardo da Vinci was amazing and so interesting. And what he did was he relied on all of these notebooks, thousands of pages of notebooks um, from da Vinci that really um, let us know what kind of a person he was, how he grew up. He was actually a beloved, though he was an illegitimate son. Um, he was beloved by both his father and mother. His mother married somebody else and had a whole family. His father married several different people and had families. But they never gave up on Leonardo. And he was actually encouraged by his father to do art. And so he was trained. And he became a um, very popular trainer, a very popular artist. Um, his use of, of light and um, the physicality of people um, is influenced in everything that he does. Uh, one of the things that I found very fascinating was how um, he really just, paper was at a premium. So when you look at his notes, it almost, it looks kind of, um, it's so busy because there's everything that came into his mind, anything that he was interested in, he would doodle down, whether it was a picture, um, the, the length of a leg, um, things that would remind himself, you know, find out how many people were living in Milan in, in 1482. I mean, these were things that he was, he was thinking about all the time. But again, he became so interested in science um, that it just kind of increased his use of imagery even more. Um, what's also fascinating is that out of all of his um, length of time, he really only finished 15 paintings that we have available to us now. Be paintings, I meant like frescoes and whatever, but he was almost, he, his, his um, attention was uh, split in so many areas because he really was a genius. Um, interestingly enough, I had just been to a lecture about a month before I read this book, and this um, woman, this hist uh, art historian, was talking about the fact that da Vinci really did change the way we view art. Uh, up until that point, art was the beauty, the, the art that they saw, um, the beauty in art that they looked at was very, um, very simple, very, um, you know, de delineated light lines. Da Vinci said, no, let's, we're not going to do that. We're going to really look at the person. And he really brought out the humanness in art and changed the way we view art. Um, this is an absolutely wonderful, wonderful book. I would highly recommend Leonardo da Vinci by Walter Isaacson.